Sadiq Films, in his never-ending search to create dialogue among the masses, brings you Conahue's manual, Native American Freedom Fighter. Okay, we're here with Conahue's Manuel from British Columbia, Canada. And well, tell us a little bit about yourself. Hello, greetings to the world out there. Uh, my name is Kanahus Manuel. I'm from the Sepotmuk and the Tanaka Nations, Indigenous Nations in, in British Columbia, Canada. And I have a big message for the world and that Indigenous people are still here. We're, we're still surviving and we're still fighting. And we're fighting for our water. Our water and our land and our deer, moose and our salmon, our berries and our medicines who we are and as native people, Sokotmo. Um, we come from the biggest nation in so-called British Columbia that is now being threatened by the Trans Mountain Kinder Morgan Pipeline, which is over a thousand kilometers long. And over half of that, 518 kilometers of that, is proposing to cut through the heart of our territory. Um, our territory is called the land of the spilling waters. We have four major rivers in British Columbia that are formed from our glaciers and our mountains and our sacred headwaters. And this is very important to us. Um, we all saw at Standing Rock how the mass mobilization and convergence of people from all over the world stood against the Dakota Access Pipeline. And what we are hoping is that the world will also jump on board and support our struggle to protect our clean water in our territory. Um, Kinder Morgan Pipeline is um, pumping, uh, proposes to pump the, the oil from the Alberta tar sands, which is one of the largest industrial projects known to humankind at this time. And it is also uh, mining dirty oil with bitumen, which is once mined deep, 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 200 feet or plus into the into the sands to extract this dirty oil. This this oil is so thick that it's just like a brick. You can't even pump it through the pipeline. Um, they actually have to mix it with a byproduct of the LNG, the liquefied natural gas industry, and in order for it to even flow through the pipe. So this is very important to note because this is not the, the oil and gas that's fueling the cars here in, in, in the US or Canada even. It's going to the global market. And this is what we're saying is there is no need for them to destroy mass amounts of area. They want to create a sacrifice zone the size of Texas. And native people surrounding the impacted tar sands communities are dying. They're dying of such high rates of cancer that one of my friends said in the past year, 12 of their family members died of cancer. So this is what they're proposing to pump through and bring into our territory, and we're not going to let it happen. We're going to stand up and we're asking everybody to come and support us. You could look online. Um, under my name, Conahus Manuel, Kinder Morgan Pipeline, you could Google that, you'll find information. Um, the way that you spell our nation's name, Sequatmo, is S-E-C-W-E-P-E-M-C. -E -E so if you Google that in Kinder Morgan Pipeline, you'll be able to find more about our issue. And we're going to be starting to build and construct 10 tiny houses that will be put on the path of the pipeline, the proposed pipeline, as a way to assert our jurisdiction and authority that we have never given up as Native people to our lands. And we're asking the world to stand with us.